gotta get my fans on all the big big What's good YouTube? It's your boy Charles Okay, come back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm back with more prospects for today's game slate on Wednesday, February day. Also, if you guys are new to prospects and you guys would like to sign up, you can check the pinned comment down below and use my referral code. This referral code will match whatever you guys do decide to deposit on the app up to $100 with a minimum deposit of $10. So if you guys are interested in that, you can check the pinned comment down below. And as always, before we do get into the new plays, we must recap the ones from yesterday. So in yesterday's video, we had Trey Young over nine and a half assists. We also had Julius Randle over four and a half assists. And we had Russell Westbrook over 13 and a half points. And also we had our NHL pick of William Carlson going over two shots. So everything from yesterday's video did cash with ease. So if you guys tailed any of this, congratulations on cashing. And now with all that being said out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the first pick of today's video, which is going to be Joel Embiid over 10 and a half rebounds. And if I do look at Joel Embiid's stats over the last five games, when it does come to rebounds, he is averaging 12.8 versus the Knicks. He had 14 versus the Spurs. He had 10 versus the Magic. He had 11 versus uh, the Magic again. He had 11 versus Denver. He had 18. And if we do head over to stat music and we type in Joel Embiid's stats over the last five games against the Celtics, Joel Embiid is averaging 24.8 points, 13.0 rebounds and 5.6 assists in the last five games against them. And he's gone over that 10 and a half line once, twice, three out of the last five times they have played. So I'm expecting Joel Embiid to be able to give us at least 12 rebounds tonight based off these stats that we've seen over the last five games against them. Also, if we do go over to prop.cash and we type in Joel Embiid rebounds uh, versus the Celtics, over the full season, Joel Embiid is averaging 11.1 rebounds. In his last 10 games, he's averaging 11. Over his last five games, he's averaging 12.8. And versus Boston, he is averaging 13. And now breaking down Boston defense when it does come to rebounds, Boston is ranked number 18 in rebounds allowed. They are ranked number four in offensive rebounds allowed. And they are ranked number 26 in defensive rebounds allowed. And they are ranked number 25 to the center defense. And those are gonna be all the reasons behind why I do love Joel Embiid to go over 10 and a half rebounds tonight. That should not be a problem. And now moving on to our second prop of today's video is going to be in the assist category and we're going to be going with Sabonis over seven assists now if we look at Sabonis assists over the last five games he's been slacking on them and in his previous game against the opponent he's playing again tonight which is the Rockets he got 10 assists uh, against the Pelicans he got three against Indiana he got six against the Spurs he had four against the Timberwolves he only had one and when we do head over to stat Muse and we type in Sabonis stats over the last five games against the Rockets Sabonis is averaging 21.0 points 11.8 rebounds and 9.2 to assist over the last five games that they have played and he's gone over that seven assist mark uh right here he got a push so that's once twice three four out of the last five times they have played so this should be very very easy for Sabonis tonight it should be no reason he does not get these assists he's back to passing like himself he was in a little assist slump i'm pretty sure he has bounced back and this is the same matchup that he just had literally in his last game so at minimum we should get a push out of him at least also if we do head over to props.cash just to research the uh, prop a little bit more over the full season Sabonis is averaging six assists as of right now in his last 10 games he's averaging 6.8 over his last five games he's averaging 4.8 and versus the Rockets he's averaging 11.7 and when it comes to the Rockets defense breaking down their assist defense they are number 22 in assists allowed and they are ranked number 21 to the power forward defense and that right there is going to be all the reasons why I do love Sabonis to go ahead and get this line with ease tonight with the over seven assists and now for the third pick in today's video we are going to be going with Draymond Green over six and a half assists now I don't know why this is so low but if you do open up Draymond's Green's uh, assist stat over the last five games he is averaging 7.2 so versus OKC he only had four versus Dallas he had nine versus Minnesota he had four versus OKC he had 12 and against the Raptors he had seven now if you guys do head over to stat Muse and you type in Draymond stats over the last five games against the Trailblazers Draymond is averaging 8.8 .8 assists 8.2 rebounds and 6.6 .6 points in the last five games against the Trailblazers and if we go over to assists he has gone over that six and a half mark every single time besides the last time they played which is a four out of five hit rate so i do expect him to bounce back in the assist category tonight also if we do head over to props.cash and we dig a little bit deeper over the full season draymond is averaging 6.8 assists in his last 10 games, he's averaging 7.6. Over his last five, he's averaging 7.2. And versus Portland, he is averaging eight assists. Portland is also ranked number 23 in assists allowed, and they are ranked number 17 to the power forward defense. And that right there is gonna be all the reasons why I do love Draymond Green to go over six and a half assists tonight. And now for our fourth and final pick of today's video, which is going to be our bonus pick, we got Buddy Hill over 16 and a half points. Now, if you open up Buddy Hill spread over his last five games, he's only averaging 15.2, but don't worry, I'm gonna tell y'all why I do like this line. So against Cleveland, Buddy Hill got hooked. He had exactly 16 points. Against Sacramento, he had 21. Against the Lakers, he only had 14. Against Memphis, I don't know what was going on in that game. He only had three points. 
Uh, against Milwaukee, he had 22. Now, if you do head over to Stat Muse and you type in Buddy Yield stats over the last five games versus the Heat, Buddy Yield is averaging 19.2 points, 5.8 rebounds, and 2.0 assists in his last five games against them. He's gone over that 16 and a half mark once, twice, three, four out of the last five times they have played. And against them, Buddy Yield is shooting 46.8%. And when it does come to the three pointers, he is attempting at least 10.4 and he's making at least 4.6. So tonight, Buddy Hill should bounce back and have a very, very good game. If you guys don't like the points prop, you can also take his three-pointers made prop. Also, if we do head over to props.cash just to check it a little bit further, over the full season, Buddy Hill is averaging 16.3 points. Over his last 10 games, he's averaging 15. In his last five, he's averaging 15.2. But against Miami, he is averaging 22.8. And when we do break down Miami's defense, they are ranked number two in points allowed. They are ranked number 19 in field goal percentages allowed. They are ranked number 27 in three-pointers allowed. They are ranked number 22 in three-pointers point percentage allowed they are ranked number two in free throws allowed and they are ranked number 11 to the shooting guard defense and with all that being said that right there is why i do love buddy you to go over this line tonight at 16 and a half points and uh yeah those are going to be all the main plays for today on the youtube plays if you guys would like more plays you can join the discord in the pin comment down below but it is me your boy charles 2k don't forget to drop a like on today's video don't forget to turn on those post notifications i will catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace